after you install it, uh, you install it with a uh, Allen head, five millimeter. We have four bolts. Those two. And that one. And that one right there. And you're gonna install that. Make sure it's clean inside and pull that off. You're gonna be using a 916. Make sure your coolant line's good. Take a can of brake cleaner. Already did it. back over here. I um, already marked it for uh, calibrate the actuator now that it is installed. It's just going to tell you to make sure it's installed, make sure all your lines are properly hooked up. Pretty much walks you through it. We're good to go on that. The key does have to be in the on position. So the calibration is good. It is passed. So we're going to go ahead and go to start again. We're going to run another calibration just to make sure. That'll give us two successful runs. And we are good on that. Cool, man. All right, guys. Well, that is that. Uh, once again, please subscribe and like. And uh, let me know if anything else I can help you guys with. Just leave a comment. Easy to do. And I'll uh, do a video most likely on it. To get to that, fellas, to get to that, please, you're going to want to go to uh, diagnostic testing. And then you're going to want to go to down here at the very bottom, BGT Electronic Actuator Installation and Calibration. Just give it a click and it will let you know that you're going to be messing with some serious shit. You just click OK. And then you go over here and you want to start with install actuator and from that you remove the actuator and you follow the previous video all right guys hope you guys enjoyed hope it helps you guys out i'm going to clear out these inactive codes there was a uh, vgt actuator code earlier and it is gone now so go ahead and reset all codes That's it, fellas. You guys have a good day.